Mr. Koretz, you should consider, no, I didn't, I'm not calling on you, I'm saying you should consider adding clowns in here, because I, I have nightmares about clowns now, okay? Mr. O'Farrell. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, thank you, Mr. Koretz, for, for all of your work on this, and thank you to members in the audience today for your years of advocacy for no longer being willing to tolerate animal cruelty or torture implements of any kind. That's where I stand along with you. And um, I was supportive of this bull hook ban years ago. Uh, I think it's high time that the city of Los Angeles catch up with the rest of the world um, in having a cruelty-free uh, position that we stand with the city of Barcelona, Bogota, Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo, Santiago, Singapore, Buenos Aires, just a sampling of some of the dozens and dozens of world-class cities across the world that don't just ban bullhooks, they ban animals performing in circuses. It is my hope, Mr. President, that someday Los Angeles will become as enlightened as these cities I mentioned. Right now, we are a follower, but however, we can lead in the United States. We can lead in a cruelty-free, um, uh, non-negotiable presence for all of our uh, uh, wildlife, exotic animals in the city of Los Angeles. The Los Angeles Zoo has banned the bullhook. Uh, that ban is in effect. This is consistent with the city policy on not allowing a Victorian era torture implement to be applied to the sensitive skin of our elephants. It's cruel and humane, and I would love to see the ban go into effect tomorrow. I And I'm not saying that just to get the applause. It's a very emotional issue for me. Anyone who loves animals and gets it understands this. However, the good news is we are banning bullhooks today. It may not go into effect for three years or, or leading up to it. Uh, I, and I don't know that we have the support to shorten that time frame, but I want to say something. Shame on Ringling Brothers for not coming to the table a year ago when you could have because we would have moved a lot further with this than we are now. But this is an accomplishment, and I want to congratulate everyone for taking part in this. Thank you, and God bless the animals. Thank you. Mr. Labonge. Thank you, Mr. O'Farrell. Thank you for your remarks. Mr. Cedillo, your remarks. And Bob, thank you for your children. Children are an amazing tool of information to tell us what's right and what's wrong. Mr. Koretz, because you've always been a champion, I thank you. I'm a big zoo person because I love parks. I love the experience. And Catherine Doyle, I thank you for your advocacy and all the work that you do. But now we're at a point to do the right thing. So to stand up and support Mr. Koretz in this effort, I call for an I vote. Thank you. Mr. Koretz, to close. Well, thank you, and I'm... I'm so excited to hear the uh, support uh, from the council. I believe there's a chance we may actually get a unanimous vote for one of the most controversial issues we've taken up. Um, I agree to take, in, take as a friendly amendment uh, a phase in uh, of three years. Uh, and I hope that this... Okay, if we did, let's... Ch I hope that this gives the affected shows ample opportunity to retool their performances and be in compliance. And that's the ultimate goal. Um, there are other circuses like Circus Vargas that have recognized the changing times. Um, I'm not sure it'll be as easy with uh, some others. We may have to hit them with a hook a couple times to make it happen. No, no, no. We don't <laughs> not literally. But... Uh, I think the important thing is not the fact that we do it, because just one city is not going to make the big change. Um, whether it's phased in over a year or three years, the main impact is going to be that we're the first ones to take this step. Because I believe when, when all circuses make the change is when 
the tenth big city or the fifteenth big city does it and they finally see the writing on the wall and they can't go anywhere. And this is going to be the first big step. They either get rid of the implement and, uh, and come into compliance or they probably will not be able to have elephants in the circus because as they say, they need this to control them. There's no, there's no humane way to do it. And I ask for your I vote in taking a big step in making Los Angeles a more humane city. Thank you, uh, Mr. Koretz. I, uh, I disagree with you on one point. I believe in this country, the winds in this country blow from the west to the east. So I think what we do today will have a huge effect on this country and maybe uh, in, in the world maybe more quickly. as well. Okay, with that said, Madam Clerk, open the roll. Well, here, let me respond to the public comment. I thought that that had been uh, done when I stepped out. The public comment where it relates to this item has already been satisfied in committee. The amendment falls within uh, the, the city attorney is comfortable. We're getting ready to have a big win. This is a very important first step. Let us take this very first positive step. With that, open the roll. Close the roll. Tabulate the vote. 13 eyes. This passes. Congratulations to all of you.